I know all about flipping tubes for largemouths, dragging tubes for smallmouths, I've even fished craw tubes, and I've written plenty about rod tubes, but what the hell is a tuna tube? Okay, I know my way around a bass boat. Most of you probably do too. You know about forward facing sonar, you know about spot lock, you know about power poles. You may not be as familiar with saltwater boats, so I'm here to ask the dumb questions that you're afraid to ask on this episode of Salt Eye for the Bass Guy. Critical to have fresh bait when you're out here for tuna and rooster fish and cabrera snapper. You can see we have some dead bait that's being cut up for some bottom fish. There's also a bait well over here to keep smaller fish like blue runners alive. The problem with that is you catch some of these bigger bonita, you want to use them for bait. You can't put them in that bait well, they either won't stay alive or you can't catch them again. So they have what here is called a tuna tube. I had to ask what this is. They have commercially made models, they have homemade tuna tubes. I would have thought that you would have won aeration in that. My friend Elliot Stark told me exactly the opposite. Aeration will kill the bonita that you keep in there. So you just want recirculating water coming in from here in the Gulf of Cherokee to come over and over again. Keep your bonita fresh, maybe tempt a marlin, a giant tuna, or a cubera snapper. But again, we're using artificials and poppers for the tuna, but when it comes to some of these other species, fresh bait is critical. We caught some bonita this morning, now we're going to see if we can catch a cubera.